Today's video is on how to get that piano sound when you don't have a piano or play a piano. So this is a flow or the overview of what I figured out. I have a MIDI controller. It's just a keyboard on its own. It doesn't have any sounds. All it does is it generates MIDI notes, it basically hooks up with USB to your computer. From there, it's available as an input in your digital audio workstation. We use this for the signals to trigger notes, but the notes themselves come from a plugin. Now this plugin, I found by doing a search, one of the best free piano plugins. And I found this site with this one listed, Atmos Piano, perfect plugin if you're looking for that dreamy distant sound. Perfect for intimate ambiences or cinematic band. It's a robust library, lots of samples, two separate sources, something, something. If you're looking to create ambient piano soundscape, this is the perfect choice. So, okay, I go to their site. There's a, basically a page. It's free. All you do, you add to your cart. It asks you for an email. You log in, uh, download it over in Reaper. And this is what I found out in this case. That's why I'm making this video because this wasn't obvious for me to figure out. And since I just figured it out now, I thought I'm going to share my notes. If anything, I can watch this like at some point in the future and remember what I did. Um, actually for now, never mind. I'm just going to save this as a track template. I'm just going to call this piano. There we go. All right. So I make a parent folder just to organize the subfolders. This is useful on the mixer here where we can have all the subfolders collapsed if we don't want them. The first channel I set is input record MIDI and I just say grab all the notes from my keyboard and this is the the MIDI roll as it is and you know I play these notes just by playing on the keyboard but I mean we could draw notes in here if we wanted to or if you have an existing MIDI I guess loading that. Uh, the trick that I found makes this work is if I put the plugin on the MIDI track, it doesn't make sounds. If I put the plugin on the input FX, I can see it's triggering the notes, but again, I don't have sounds. So what I found works is I add a send. In this case, I'm sending the MIDI notes. Well, I'm sending all the audio, but there's no audio because this is just the MIDI track. And I do the send to the Atmos Piano track. Atmos Piano track has the MIDI Atmos plugin, and here it's hooked up to my, if I have piano roll as record, and I have this as record, oh, why is my scene there? There we go. So, to hear notes, you have to have the monitoring on and the record armed. Oh, I guess not. Okay, okay. so just the record armed. And now again, this is for like, interactive and playing uh, notes. Like I'm, I'm, even if I'm not recording, if I'm not recording, I'm just going to use the setup with the keyboard to hear myself playing. I, I need to have this on record. Now, I guess I could make this be record disable monitoring, but I, I like to record the MIDI because this is like my in guitar. I would call it a DI. And then of course this one, I wouldn't need to record piano until I'm ready to like finalize what I've recorded in MIDI and this would be what I would call like the reamping if I was playing guitar. On the FX there's, I haven't figured out much to do it says on their site there's lots of samples and microphones but all I can find so far are these simple parameters and that's these these parameters seem to match with the UI shows so I mean maybe Maybe it's, maybe it's more advanced if I use a different DAW, but this makes piano sounds, so I'm just happy for now. I found two. Maybe it's my controller, or I'm not hitting it hard enough, but I need to do a small volume boost because the sound's out afterwards. It's just a little too quiet for how I want to use them. I don't feel like pounding my plastic keys here, and this just seems to be a good fit, so that's fine. Now, what I did for fun is I decided since previously I made a spring reverb tank 
and I have it as an effects loop, I'm taking the sound output from the plugin and I'm doing send to another hardware output, which is on my audio interface. And that goes to this input, which is coming back from the reverb tank from the same port. And what this does is this will capture the output of the effect of the reverb. Now, I found this Atmos plugin does have a reverb effect, but I, I don't like it. It doesn't sound nice to me. So I'm going to use my own reverb instead. But of course, that's the purpose of the setup is I make a track template has everything I want the way I want to use it. But just for fun, let's listen. So we'll listen to the piano of the notes I recorded uh, with no hall, with no, no built in reverb. Uh, how do we play this? Just crank this up all the way even. Sounds a little more spacious, right? Okay, but so turn this back off. So it's just the piano. No, no sounds. But now let's turn this on, turn on the reverb effect. Now I've already kind of, there's only one knob on the tank. It's basically the, the drive, the drive the springs. The recovery amplifier is not really great. I just use the output going straight to my audio interface. So this is what it sounds like with the reverb effect. Much more airy. I like the, um, of course I can't solo it until I record it, sorry. I'll have to do a quick record here just to grab the responses. Now, this can drop just the reverb effect on its own. To me, I really like this because like the, I guess it's like the, the way the spring has its attack. It almost sounds like you can hear the keys of like a real piano being like fingered and clicked or pushed or whatever. So anyhow, that's all I got for now. I was just excited trying to figure out my, uh, how to make piano sounds in a, like a, in a, for a large room setting with my external reverb tank. Now, I guess, obviously, I don't have to use the reverb. I can use the built-in one or even a different plugin. But I'm just playing with all the things just because it's fun to hook up as much stuff as I can and just experimenting, really. Thanks for watching.